Good morning, Chairman Schatz, Vice Chair Murkowski, and members of the subcommittee. My name is Victoria Kitchion, and I have the honor of serving as the chairwoman of the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska. Thank you for holding this hearing on S3230, the Winnebago Land Transfer Act. I'd like to begin by expressing my heartfelt gratitude towards Senator Fisher, Ricketts, Grassley, and Ernst for their leadership in championing this bill. Senator Fisher, it's been I, my honor to work with you, and the kind introduction was so nice. And the sheer determination that you've shown in, in helping us get this legislation passed. And the elders at home told us of a lady out east that was going to help us. And the leadership that you've demonstrated, uh, our delegation believes that you're that lady. So thank you for being an answered prayer to the Winnebago people. Honorable members of the subcommittee, you have my written testimony. I want to use this time to tell you about the historic and meaningful week our delegation has had. On Monday, the Winnebago delegation was in the gallery when the House passed our bill by a voice vote. It was an emotional experience to hear the tribe's name and the introduction of that bill. And it was a milestone and a historic moment in the tribe's work. On Tuesday, we were able to visit the archives and look at our 11 treaties, among them the 1865 treaty that established our reservation and that that would be our home forever. And getting to um, have this humbling experience to see the markings of the warriors, Chief Little Priest, Chief Whirling Thunder, and the bravery and the respect and the diplomacy that they exhibited in establishing the federal government, the government to government relationship. And it was that bravery and that respect and the, that carries over to, to our tribal council and our responsibility to, to uphold those treaties. And that exercise was significant in creating that space for change. The ancestors were with us. That afternoon, we went to the Smithsonian's Cultural Resource Center and we were able to view our, our relatives' items that they left behind. And it was by no coincidence that our delegations uh, were represented, the families and the clans that were there that day. And being in the presence and get to look at the beauty and take in the spirit of those items was powerful. And it was the designs and the materials used in those, those items that are still in our families and in our community today and are celebrated as a remembrance of and who we are. It was this, um, this intrinsic tie to the land in our everyday life and our culture. And it also um, demonstrates the depth of our relationship with Maoni's creation. The ancestors are with us. Yesterday, we had an amazing visit with Senator Fisher and, and many other of uh, the committee's staff. And um, we were able to discuss this bill and just and, and talk about how important this was to the tribe. And here we are today amongst this distinguished body and recognizing um, the work that's been brought before you and what strong advocates you are for Indian country. I'm, I share these moments because I want you to know how meaningful this has been to us and the significance of returning this land. Our Winnebago delegation is here carrying the work forward of others, most notably the late Louis LaRose Wanagita was the chairman in the 1970s and he served over a span of 50 years and he was the chairman when this land was taken and it was my honor to get to sit at the table with him and sadly he passed the day after the Senate introduced our bill. So we're here to continue Louis's work we're here to, um, to finish this on behalf of the people. And once this land is restored, we plan to keep this land in conservation and our Wildlife and Parks Department has the capacity and resources to manage this land for recreation and conservation activities. And the tribe has no intention of making any changes to uh, those conservation efforts by the uh, Army Corps or the Iowa DNR. <laughs> In conclusion, I want to share some teachings of the Winnebago people. The elders tell us it's really simple. They say, uh, love one another, take care of one another, be good to one another. So I want to ask this committee to be good to the Winnebago people. Our people say, Aikido D. Stand arm in arm. And I say, Aikido D to this committee and ask you to stand arm in arm with the Winnebago people and pass S3230. 
Wanagi Napshana. Thank you very much, Chairwoman. And now uh, the uh, Honorable Robert Larson, the President of the Lower Sioux Indian Community in Minnesota. Chairman, excuse me, President.